It's raining and the vines at one of Macedonia's newest wineries are getting an investment in their future. It's good for the grapes. Uh, you see that the, the pruning uh, has been finished now in the, in the vineyards. It uh, already has started to, to grow a little. Jordan Trykov is a businessman who's gone back to his roots. My grandfather was, was uh, making wine and had the vineyard and uh, that also inspired me. I wanted to do it, but then it, it, it came clear to me when I, I went in Napa Valley. His visit to the Napa Valley wineries was a watershed. He quit his high-flying banking career and came home to realize his vision. Bringing together the concept of wine tourism together with the grape growing and wine making was fascinating for, for me. So, this is the barrel rooms. And it smells beautiful. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> if this were a bank, it would be the vault. Here, what he hopes will be the best vintages are laid down. Trykov has invested everything he owns and slowly is seeing the returns. With the very first uh, Vranets from the 2005, Vranets Perfect Choice, we got golden medal and it was chosen by International Commission to be the best Vranets in the world. He sells 23 different varieties of wine, but his favorites are those native to Macedonia. This is an uh, autochtone variety specific for Macedonia and for this region. Uh, and uh, most of the vineyards, there are just few vineyards that are left with this, with this uh, variety. And most of them are very, thank you. His aim, give Macedonia's ancient vines a future denied when the country was part of socialist Yugoslavia. Back then, production was all about bulk export of more common grapes, Cabernets, Sauvignons and the like. And here is the Cabernet Sauvignon. Let's have a look in the Cabernet. <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon, as you see, red, uh, red colors. Beautiful stonework on the walls. And the vision doesn't stop with wine production. It's built a hotel for tourists. Yeah. On the other side. And then, but white. also mm -hmm. different red for the different red. Uh, oh, really? Ones. So Let's say Merlot is more on blue. Uh -huh. <laughs> Each room themed on a wine. Napa Valley has arrived in Macedonia, hiking, bird watching, skiing, fishing, all thrown in. But not without cost. Here too, Trykov showed his flair, gambling the label's liquid assets, becoming the first Macedonian company to be floated on its stock exchange. Yeah, yeah, this company is the first Macedonian IPO, but I knew how to do that. <laughs> so because of my background, so. Uh, so we have fairly strong equity position. The financial savvy has helped insulate the winery from stormy global markets, but its challenges aren't over yet. So I cannot say that the sales are, are uh, as we projected in our original business plan, but we hope that we will, we will eventually come there because our sales are, uh, are, are increasing. From year to year we, we increase our uh, sales and that's only because we have highest quality in the wine. And the key to increasing your sales is? Promotion. And by now, you may wonder why no reporter on camera with concluding thoughts. Let's just say we invested a little time checking on quality. Nick Robertson, CNN, Popova Kula Winery, Macedonia.